This video is brought to you by Train Signal, your home for IT training products. Welcome to Train Signal. You're watching the Getting Started with Google Apps mini series. In the last video of this series, we're going to be taking a look at the start page setup in which we can define a beginning base for our users to launch everything from. It's really handy and really customizable. So let's go ahead and take a look at the two places where we actually can configure this. First of all, we can configure it on the start page itself. However, this is only for customizable sections and this is customizable for the individual user. The management page, on the other hand, we can actually specify default content as well as the sections that we always want the users to have. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this setup here. We're going to start back at our dashboard, back at our management page. We're going to go to the start page and we're going to click on customize start page. And now we have the getting started, layout, colors, header and footer, content and publish areas. Let's start with a with the layout section. In the layout section, we decide if we're going to allow the users to fully customize their complete start page or are we going to provide a locked column for our own use as administrators. This is a good idea, especially when we want users to always have a particular set of widgets available to them. Now the color section, this is where we can alter our colors. Be cautious and conscientious about the colors you select. Try it out. Uh, make sure that you're using light text and dark backgrounds or dark back or um, light backgrounds and dark text. Make sure that you have good contrast between the two and try to avoid using blue and red in combination. It can actually, those two color combinations with text and backgrounds can actually give your users a headache. Let's take a look at the header and footer. In the header section, we're going to put in real quickly our own little logo. Let's drop in our logo real quick so we have a nice branding to our setup here. I'm going to drop this guy over to the left hand side. There we go. Now we could put in whatever content we wanted. And also, there's a handy little HTML editor if you want to write custom code and hard code stuff in. Feel free to do that. All right, all right. And we can always specify stuff down here in our footer. There's a few items that are required. Let's go to the content section. Now, the content section, we get to define what is shown by default in the user customizable columns, but we also have a locked column that allows us as administrators to put in whatever we want that the users cannot take out. So I'm going to click on add stuff and add a few content items. I'm going to start with the Google Apps elements first. I'm going to add Google Talk, Docs and Spreadsheets, Gmail, and scroll down here and find my calendar. I'm going to drop those guys all in by default. There are other categories and there's a lot of these little widgets that are available. I'm going to go down to find the to-do list. That's one of my favorites. And now that we've added those items, I'm going to go back to the home page just to check out and see if everything came through all right. Looking good. Now I'm going to define what's going to be in my locked column. I'm going to first take my Gmail, drop it over here. I'm going to take the Docs and Spreadsheet section, drop it over, as well as the Google Calendar. All right. Now if there's anything that you want to turn off, you all you have to do is click on the little X and that will get rid of any elements that you may not want to set as defaults. So now that we've added all the default content and specified what's going to be in the locked columns, we need to go to publish and make sure we publish all of our updates. And now that we have published our default layouts, we can go ahead and get back to the control panel and take a look at what our page will actually look like. And now we see our customized start page with our default and locked items over to the left hand side and the user customizable items over to the right. And we're all done. Thanks for watching our mini series on how to get started with Google Apps. 
As a thank you, I'd like to give you a free coupon code for free shipping on any Trainsignal.com product. So when you come over and visit us over at Trainsignal.com and order something, just drop in this little coupon code, go to Google Apps MC into the coupon code box, and that will qualify you for free shipping. Hey, thanks a lot for your time, and I hope to be on your screen again soon. This video is brought to you by Trainsignal. Network Admin's number one choice for professional IT training, where you'll find videos on Microsoft, Cisco, Linux, CompTIA, and more. Come visit us today at www.trainsignal.com.